Hi, Sagittarian Tarman Fellows. So, um, with this, under the influence of this new moon in Pisces, there are two things, um, in this upcoming lunar month for us. Because I'm also a Sun Sagittarian. Okay, so, um, the two messages as seen from the astrological chart, as well as from my tarot reading, are that, first of all, um, it is all about resources. So let's say our money, our salary, our time, and even our um, bodily strength, our health, okay? Mm. So in these areas, we are... <coughs> I'm sorry. We are starting to see a deficit, okay? Um, a lack of resources. We, um, yeah, so <coughs> there is this depletion in our resources. Um, for example... <coughs> I'm so sorry. So we have less work. Hence, less salary, okay, um, or less time to do something. But then we are not in like we're not on the verge of like of a breakdown or on 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 the verge of like bankruptcy, okay? No, it's just because <coughs> it is simply that um, there is this drop down in our resources, so we start to worry, okay. And then for the final penny in our hand, we have to ponder really seriously. Oh, how to um, make use of the last penny in our hand. How do you make use of um, the really um, meager um, resources we still have in our hand? So um, it's all about making decisions concerning our resources. And the second message from the stars and from my tarot card reading is that um, <coughs> it's all about our family. So in our family, um, there are some... Um, uh, there is some like disagreement going on among our family members, okay? But then somehow we have to say we have um, um, the authority to um, to speak out um, or to influence the entire situation. Why? It is not necessarily because you are the parents, <coughs> okay? <coughs> so of course, typically, if you are the parent, and uh, so that means you are the the head of the household, okay? Especially in well, I'm not sure in Western families that's the case, but then at least in Asian families, that's the case, okay? So if you're the parents, or even the grandparents, so you have to say, you have the final say, okay? Um, so all the kids have to respect you, okay? So, uh, <coughs> but then in this case, it's not necessary because <coughs> it is more because that you have the resources. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Let me pause it. Mm. Okay, so, well, it's not because of coronavirus. Okay, chill. So, um... Um, yeah, so please pray for Hong Kong, okay? And I'm, I, well, should I apologize on behalf of China for sending out this virus to the rest of the world? I feel so bad for them, but then please be sure, China is not Hong Kong, Hong Kong is not China, they're not equivalent, and we are also the victims. So, um, yeah, so the entire world, like the rest of the world, um, like, uh, except for China, is being victimized. So, um, <coughs> let's pray. Anyways, <coughs> anyways. So, in the household, you have to say you have the authority, authoritative power, <coughs> more because you have the resources, okay? For example, you have the knowledge, and you actually have the money. You are the richest person in the family right now. So, let's say, okay, um, your family is deciding to move, and, like, for example, where to move, where to rent, you will have... Um, the influential power because it is actually you who are going to pay the rent, okay? Or you people are making some, I don't know, legal decisions and then you have the legal knowledge so that's why people have to listen to you. And then the shift of burden, no, um, not the shift of burden, but then the burden is finally on you because you are uh, you're the person who makes the final decision or have like who has the... Um, the most influential power. So that's why this month is all about making decisions, important decisions regarding resources and your family. So good luck to all of you.